Hey guys, what is going on? It's your girl Candy, and today, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be trying out my August Ipsy bag. Yeah! This is the bag, but before we get started, let me put that down. Okay, we need to. I need to do a quick hello. Hello to my candy babes. Thank you so much guys for coming back and checking out this video. And if you're new, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this ipsy bag. Um, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into the thing. So I just want to let you guys know that um, Little Man was here with me this entire time I was doing the video. Um, as you could tell by the clips, I'm pretty sure you will see him in the background. Other uh, messing up the items in the back because you can see they're no longer on my shelf. But for August, this was actually a better bag than I got for July. And if you haven't watched my July Ipsy bag review, I will go ahead and link it up for you right now. Um, that bag was a disaster. I hate it. Seriously, a disaster. Uh, this one in particular, though, I really do like it. Um, it's different. The cloth is different. But I like the boldness of the color. So I really do like that. Part of August um, Ipsy bag, this is their self-confidence. And so I'm really happy to say that they're really trying to bring in that selfie no filter it came out with two masks and you see me use one of the masks here and the other one is their blackberry mask so I'm excited to try out this one also received a cream pigment a blush the last item we got is the mint pearl rose hip night serum now I'm really excited to try this I haven't tried it because it is for night so I'm gonna have to wait and try this out um so yeah those are the products that I received so go ahead and sit tight let's just go ahead and do this makeup tutorial So we're going to jump in with this mask. This mask is from Lab For You. This is their kale mask and per their instructions it's just a sheet mask. So I'm just going to go ahead and place this on my face and make sure it's in the crevices that it needs. And uh, once it's on all the way, we're going to go ahead and wait for 20 minutes. And once the mask is done, as you can see, it kind of pretty much tugged to my face, kind of pulled in, which tells me that it actually is working and doing its damn thing. So we're going to pull this off and it is super glowy super nice and the aftermath of the product remaining was actually not that bad I just lightly pat it back into the skin and we are good to go we're gonna go with the Mario Badashu's rose toner and we're going to go ahead and spray that all over and I am going to be using a lot of products from my other Ipsy bag so as you saw in my June bag I believe this is the Sherbert moisturizer from Caudel. We're just going to go ahead and apply this all over and make sure everything's good. So off camera I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and now that they're done we can now focus on the eyes. We're going to go in with my fave. This is the Conceal Correct and Contour Kit from NYX. We're just going to go ahead and place it on both of the eyes. And now we're going to jump into the Juvia's Place freaking eyeshadow palette. This thing is gorgeous y'all. And we're going to hop in with this gorgeous orange shade. We're going to place that directly in the crease and we're going to blend it out seamlessly. Now that I have the color pigmentation that I want, we're going to go back in now with this orangey brown shade and just deepen the crease. It did take me a while to get that brown to kind of really pop, so don't be scared about it, but it does eventually pop up as you can see. Now to add in a little bit of that smokiness, we're going to use this sugar pencil. This is from my last Ipsy bag. And we're going to apply that directly to the lid. Blend it out with the finger. And then we're going to go in with the eyeshadow. This is the cream pigment from Hikari. This is in the shade Fierce. 
And as you can see, the swatch, it's super pigmented and gorgeous looking. Look at that thing, it's ridiculous. And then when I applied it onto the lid, it didn't really stick onto the green like I thought it would, which is okay. And we went ahead and just applied it on with that same flat brush that I received from my July Ipsy bag. And we're just gonna place that directly onto the lid. And now to the next item, this is from Kaleido. I think it's Kaleido Cosmetics. This is their skin blush. Um, as I said before, you can see why I didn't really use it as a blush, but instead we use it as a inner corner highlight for the eyes. We're gonna go back in with that brown shade just to smoke out the middle portion and then reapply some more pigment just in case it did get erased by me adding more brown. And now that the eyes are kind of done, we're gonna go in now with these lashes. This is from the Goddess Collection. I'm gonna be using the lashes called EOS and we are going to place it on. Now to finish the bottom portion of my eye, we're gonna go in with this eyeliner. This is from NYX Cosmetics and this is in the shade Nude. We're just gonna go ahead and apply that on. And then once that's on, we're gonna go back into the orange and brown and pretty much recreate that top transition to the bottom portion of my eye and create a nice smoky effect. Once that's done, we're gonna go in with some mascara. This is Benefit Cosmetics, their Bad Gal Mascara. Um, we're gonna put that on top and bottom lashes. And now for the final step, you guys, we're gonna go in with the lips. We're doing the lip pencil. This is from NYX Cosmetics in the shade Expresso. And then to give myself a little bit more of a deeper tone in the background, we're gonna go in with the ColourPop Cosmetics. This is their Ultra Matte Lipstick in both the shades Mamacita and Roach. We're pretty much going to be placing on the outer rim on my lips and then we're blending those two shades together. And then with the bag, we receive the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte and this is in the shade Trophy Wife. And we're gonna take Trophy Wife right in the directly in the center of the lips and then blend that out to kind of create this more of like a brown, rosy lip. And to add a little bit more shine, because why not, we added more of that cream pigment on top to create this nice, beautiful, shimmery, ombre look. So yeah, I'm going to stop rubbing on. I didn't do a lot of like shots, so yeah, here you guys go. Back to the video. Alright guys, well this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this whole Ipsy bag and the items I received and the look that was created off of it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I would love to hear from you. If you um, also get an Ipsy bag, did you get the same items or did you get something completely different? I would love to know. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click on that subscribe button because I would love for you to be part of the fam. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to start rambling on and I appreciate you guys. I will catch you at the next one. Peace! Mwah! <laughs> Bye guys!